what a better way to start than using console lock, right? We developers are familiar with this. If you're not familiar with this, you're gonna be, don't worry, like it's the most used function in JavaScript. The console lock function, every function in the world has to be called using parentheses or uh, round brackets, however you wanna call it. And then before that, on the left side of that, you put the name of the function. In this case, the function is called log. But that function, it's part of an object that we are not gonna talk about objects in this series of exercises, but just so you understand, why do we need to have, why do we need to say console first? Because log is a function that belongs to console. And what's function? Basically a function is a functionality or a command or something that you want the computer to do. And normally you create functions all the time when you, when you see that you're doing repetitive stuff. For example, if, let's say that I, I, I'm going to print hello and then I'm going to print my name is, my name is Alejandro. And I always do these two things, always. And I'm never gonna do them separately, or I could, but normally I do them, I do them together. So I block them in a, in a code. I, I have to wrap them in a particular scope of code with curly brackets like this. And then I have to put a name to those curly brackets. So I can say function greet. You know, it's a greeting, right? Or greeting, whatever. I say, I think it's more greet. It's greet is better because it sounds more like a verb, you know, greet. And then from that moment on, the cool thing is that I can say greet. And I can say it so many times and it doesn't matter. It's still gonna do it. It's gonna do it as many times as I say greet, look. So now it's greeting one time, then it's greeting another time, then another time, another time, and one last time. So as many times as I did it. So that's the super cool thing about functions that they allow you to run these two lines of code as many times as you want. As long as you put a name to those, to those two lines and you wrap them in a scope. So you put them in a scope with a curly bracket and then you put a name to that scope. So that's it. This exercise is telling us to use console log. I I was a little bit ahead with this, but all we have to do now is say, hello world. And this is basically how most of the exercises work, start in JavaScript. We always start with a hello world. So if we test this, it should work. And it works.